Isaiah chapter 65 verse 1. I am sought of them that ask not for me. I am found of them that sought me not. Yeah. I, I said, behold me, behold me unto a nation that was not called by my name. Well, you might think that's talking about heathens, but it's not. All right. Go ahead. I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people, which walking in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. Yep, that's our forefathers. Okay, go ahead. A people that provoked me to anger. A people that provoked me to anger continually to my face. Yep, how they did that? Sacrificing unto idols, not keeping the commandments. Go ahead. That sacrifices, that sacrificed it in the gardens and burned incense upon altars of brick. Yep. Which remain among the graves, lodged in the monuments, which eat swine's flesh, and broth of abominable things in, uh, is in their vessels. Yep. Which say, Stand by thyself, come not near to me, for I am holier than thou. These are a smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all the day. Yeah, that's what that's what mainly the Babylonian Christians do. When they get out of church, they think they they uh they shit don't stink. No, you know? They put it plain. They think they're better than you because they pay tithes or whatever, you know? <laughs> Behold, it is written before me, I will not keep silence, but will recompense, even recompense into their bosom. Your iniquities and the iniquities of your fathers together, said the Lord, which have burnt incense upon the mountains and blasphemed me upon the hills. Wherefore will I measure thy, uh, wherefore will I measure their former work into their bosom? Yeah, that that goes for the evils too. You know, with the Most High, will measure your, our former works. But as far as them getting into the kingdom, they ain't getting into the kingdom. All right, only way uh, Edomite is gonna be in the kingdom. It's going to be a slave, all right? Recompense unto his bosom, all right? The former works. Don't, don't the Bible say the Most High require that which is past? The Most High won't want your background. He wants your, your jock All right? Go ahead. Thus said the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one said, destroy it not. Yeah, because remember, he said, I said, behold me to a nation that was not called by my name. So you may, you, you might say, oh, that's not, that's talking about non israelites Go ahead. <coughs> destroy it not, for a blessing is in it. So will I do for my servants' sake, that I may not destroy them all. Yep, he's not going to destroy them all because there's a, a cluster. Go ahead. Who's the son? Jacob. Yep. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob. There you and, go. <laughs> and out of Judah, an inheritor of my mountains. Out of Judah, an inheritor out of his mountains. Okay, go ahead. And mine elect shall inherit it. And his elect, the elect of Israel shall inherit the kingdom. All right? Not the whole world. All right? We're in a time that we, as Israelites, Negroes, Latino, and Native Americans, forgot about the law, statutes, and commandments. So now that we're coming back into it, we're like a new set of Israelites. Just like a moon. It's the same moon, but because the moon changed and it came again, it's a new moon. Alright, right? You get the new moon, it's a new, it's a new moon. It's the same old moon, but it's just a different phase of it. We're the same old Israelites, but we're just a different phase. We're the new Israelites. We're the same as right. All right. And my servants shall dwell there. And Sharon shall be a fold of the flocks. And the valley of Accor, a place for the herds to lie down in for my people that have sought me. Yep. Go ahead. And those people, those people, Israelites all day. All right. We saw them, we saw them in the past and we seek them now. All right. Give me that thing. Go ahead. But ye are they that forsake the Lord, that forgot my holy mountain, that prepared a table for their truth, and that furnished the drink offering unto their numbers. Yep, so I go, our people will go off the wicked. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I, I have, I have a good day, man. Uh,
Nah, y'all cool. Y'all just, I don't want this. I don't want this. Because when I, because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear. But did evil before my eyes, and did choose that where I delighted not. Yep, and that's being going off. At the, that's what it is, going off. Not keeping the commandments of the Lord, idolizing, worshiping other gods, not having faith. All right, the Lord cast the Israelites away. But then he, he bid who back to the marriage? The Israelites. Because if he was dealing with somebody else, why would the why would be in Matthew saying he shall give salvation unto his people? All right, him being a Jew. All right, just like it's like he was like, uh, you know, I, I can't see at the laws of races. But if I say, man, I'm out here giving out free food, and I say this food is for my people, you gonna you gonna automatically know that I'm talking about dark skinned people, right? So if he says y'all give salvation to his people, you should already know it's talking about the Israelites. Alright? Go ahead. Therefore thus said the Lord most high, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Yep, and that's talking about our own people, the two-thirds and the elect is comparing and contrasting. The ones that's going to eat is going to be elect. The ones that's going to be hungry is the two-thirds. All right? And they are hungry. They're hungry. They're hungry in this word, man. They, it's, they're famished. All right? To be hungry is to, to know no scriptures. Every two-third that like to come up against the men of the Lord don't know any scriptures. And then when you get bugged out and you get out the truth, you, you stop quoting scriptures. You become hungry, you become famished. You know? What? Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for the vexation of spirit. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen, for the Lord the Most High shall slay thee, and call his servants by another name. Yep, he shall slay thee. He talking about the Christ talking about slaying somebody. That's that's not the Christ that everybody talks about. A guy that walks around with his hands in a in a in a palm position like he's a Buddhist. Christ is an austere man. That was the Bible says. He's a straightforward guy. All right, a straightforward person. Not not no indirect Mr. Rogers talking guy. The God of the Bible, Christ of the Bible, is a straightforward, tell it like it is, in your face person. Why would you want to kill somebody and stone somebody? That's telling you and, and talking like Mr. Rogers to you. You know what I'm saying? They wanted to stone Christ because he was telling them, telling them off and telling them about themselves. And that's what we're out here doing. We're not trying to forcefully tell you about yourself. We're just speaking the truth. Like they said, the truth hurts. You know? I see you looking at the signs, man. Well, you know, you got any questions? What's the big picture message here? The truth. The truth for the Bible. The truth. You know? The truth for the Bible. Now, the truth for the Bible. Would what a lot of people don't understand the truth of the Bible is reality. All right? Yeah. These signs we have here, it, it, it all deals with reality. All these are facts, documented facts. All right? The Bible, the Bible is documented fact. But it, it re, sometimes it goes to the deep dark sayings where people don't understand the facts that it's trying to, that it's uh, presenting. You know, for example, Mark of the Beast. All right? That's a documented fact that it's going to show. All right? According to the scriptures, the word of Mark. You got one thing you want me to take away from all this business? Um, we don't need your scripture. We need to be disastrous. We have one thing. The Bible gonna tell you. We got one thing to take take out of this. The Bible says. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse four, uh, 14 for the most high shall, uh, it's uh, 13 let let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter yeah you asked for the conclusion of the whole matter right go ahead fear the most high and keep his commandments yeah keep his commandments fear the most high which means to respect him or have a deep respect like you have a you don't you're not scared of your parents but you fear them you have a deep Respect for it, for you really respect what they say, you honor what they say, all right, and keep the commandments, all right, that's the whole group.
Yes, I will thank you. Whatever the Bible says, you have a deep respect for it, you honor it to your best abilities. And keep your commandments. Simple. I feel that. Alright. Let's go back to what we was getting at. Uh, what was that? Group, yeah. Um, because we were reading that he said, Behold to a people that was not called by my name, right? So, uh, I believe it's chapter 3. Um, read it's chapter 3. That's us being the new Israelites. All right, go ahead. And return from their stiff necks and from their wicked deeds. There you go, because the, the old Israelites were with stiff neck. All right, we, we had we had wicked deeds, and somehow people still have wicked deeds. All right, go ahead. For they shall remember the way of their fathers, which sinned before the Lord. Yeah, that's the old Israelites. We're the new Israelites. All right, go ahead. And I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers. Yeah, that, that promise, the promised land is, is New Jerusalem, okay? Go ahead. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be lords of it. And I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. Now, what's up, guys? What's going on? Y'all got any questions? Yeah, what are y'all doing? We're reading the Bible, you know, and uh, a lot of people say, well, what's up? Don't leave me. What's our main goal is to read the truth. Well, you about Thank to you. No, I'm not about to fall. You guys are <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Hey, I'm, what are you I'm, laughing I'm, at? I'm, 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 you want to have a job? Well, I'm fuck it. I appreciate it, though. All right, let's go. Let's go. Stop right. shit, guys. Yeah. Shit. Do your thing, man. We have fun, man. <laughs> <laughs> you got that. He 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 said, come on, son. Is it the real cousin? Many men have gone out there with him. Right, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know what was on. He's like, he got it out there. It's on camera. He's nice. I'm just saying, karate came out close to him. Like, yeah, it was you. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. Yeah. He took it, man. She was, she was nice, man. Nice one. Yeah. One on me, man. I'm trying to get no food, no camera. I ain't trying to do nothing. Do nothing. Alright, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. Group 2 and 35. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power, and they shall be my people. Yeah, everlasting covenant, all right? And he shall be, he shall, he shall be our power and we shall be his people. Go ahead. And I will no more drive my people of Israel out of the land that I have given them. This is it, this is it. He drove, he drove us out before, he drove us out one time. Israel. All right, this time he said he would not drive us out again. This hasn't happened yet, all right? We are, we're, we're, we're in between this. We've been driven out. Just like we kept on, we told him earlier, that the people in the land is not Israelites, all right? He drove us out that land. So now when we come back, we're not gonna be driven out again. All right, this is the last exile that we're gonna go through, all right? This is the last ass whooping we're gonna get, all right? This is the last time we're gonna be at the bottom of the totem pole, and this is gonna be the last time we're gonna turn our backs on the Most High, because the law is gonna be written in our inner parts. It's gonna be natural reflexes to keep the commandments with no problem. Alright? We, we ain't gonna have to wake up in the morning and we forget to pray. It's gonna be a natural reflex to do it. Alright? Like there's times when your spirit is on fire, like there's a, there's a saying your spirit's on fire. Our spirit is that's that's gonna be our luck. None, nothing else. We're gonna be on fire 24-7. 
all right? That's, that's, that's the, the, the mindset and the spirit we're going to be in when we get to the kingdom. Right now, we, we try to keep our fire on. We, we run it back, keep on putting logs on the fire. Yeah. Yes. God damn. Hey, we must. St. John chapter 3 verse 16 For God so Rose talking about my salvation Isaiah 65 and 14 Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but he shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen, <coughs> for the Lord, the Most High, shall slay thee, and call his servants by another name. Yep, which is best for the elect. If you're looking for another name, it's the elect. Alright? It's the same people, just a different name. Alright? Just like Paul said, it's like, it's like Paul said, uh, I endure all things for the elect's sake. Yep. He was doing all the work, taking all the stripes and the beatings and getting stoned for the elect. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't doing it for a nigga that didn't want to believe in it. That don't make no sense. Yep. That's right. We're not out here for unbelievers. That's pointless. That's a waste of my time. You don't believe. I can't convince you because you're a non believer. You know what I'm saying? The Lord comes to those who do believe. That's what the Lord is dealing with. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is dealing with believers. Now, there's believers in this world that might be sinners. We're here to basically give you the truth to make to convince, make you convince yourself to stop, stop sinning and go to the Lord. All right? But we're not here for unbelievers or damn atheists. He's not going to believe. He ain't going to do nothing but uh, he ain't going to do nothing but disrespect the scriptures, the Bible. All right. Yeah, that's I mean, I might have bought it. I mean, I might have it says that he who blesseth himself in the earth shall bless himself in the most high of truth. And he that sweareth in the earth shall swear by the most high of truth. Yep. Because the former troubles are forgotten, and because they are hid from mine eyes. That's that grace. Yep. That's that grace. You know, and, and we shall bless the most high in, in, in him in truth, man. In, in his truth. Alright? So when we exalt the most high, we exalt him in the Bible. All right, we, we believe in the Bible. We don't believe what we want to believe and then praise God. You got to believe the Bible, praise God. That's retarded. You know, how are you going to be a rapist and believe in not raping people? <laughs> I don't believe nobody should be raping. You're a full-blown rapist. You taking your, your all-out pedophile, man. You're taking butt, you know. Out there getting butt. <laughs> First Maccabees 1 and 11. Uh, and in those, in those days went there out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many. Yeah, because we're going into God so love the world, right? Because you, you perceive that it's talking about everybody. By now you should be able to get it. But we're going to get into it a little bit more, all right? Go ahead. Saying, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. That's our two-third counterparts, all right? The wicked Israelites. All right, basically, that's the Israelites to this day, man. All right, they're, they're upset with their, our current condition, but we're in a bad condition right now. All right, as Negroes, like to Native Americans, we're not in a good condition. So what our, what our people do, two-thirds of our people, they sell out. They say, you know what, I don't want to, you know what, Lord, I, ain't go, I can't serve you right now. Let me, I'm going to go, you know, serve the so-called white man. Because you can't serve the most high man. man. Because the so-called white man wants you to shave your beard. He wants you to accept homosexuality. Alright? He wants you to eat corn. He wants you to 
wants to eat lobster. Alright? All kind of wickedness, man. For since we departed from them, we have had no soul. so-called white man's doctrine. All right, you got to go into theology just to get a degree. The, the so you got to be indoctrinated because he, the, here it is, you got people that's going through theology. The nigga, the, uh, the other the hippie guy, he's, a, he, he's, I don't know if he got the, his degree or he was going through it, but he believes that we're Christians based on what the Bible say, but you, we're in school to study the Bible, right? You should know about the Bible, that it deals with grace, it deals with this, it doesn't deal with that. Which he had a little some truth, but he still believed in the Gregorian calendar and the, uh, the Julian calendar and all this. And it's all about the moon. You would know that. Are you supposed to know that? Going to school for it, it means you got to study the Bible. But obviously they make you study certain things. Alright? They, they indoctrinate you. Right. Right. So this device pleased them well. Up yep, two thirds of our people, they, they want to be indoctrinated. Hey guys. All right. They want to be Americanized. What's going on? You got any questions? You want to treat? No, I. Uh, what, what, are, what are you guys doing? This is pretty cool. Right? Um, it's preaching the truth for the Bible. All right, in its entirety. No, no holes bars. All right. So we're we're giving the truth for the Bible. But the Bible deals with history. The Bible is facts. Right now we're going into the book of Maccabees. You know, you know about Antiochus Epiphanes? Yeah. And Antiochus the fourth. So this guy, we're reading about him right now about how, how his wickedness was toward Israel. Alright? And how the Lord destroyed him. You know, if you heard about Heliodorus, it also tells about Heliodorus who assassinated uh, who assassinated Seleucus the Fourth. There's, there's a story in the Bible about how he got beat up by angels. And he went back. Then assassinate Lucifer. You know what I'm so saying? Are you, are you uh, advertising about the lost tribes of Israel? Yeah, we're having the advertising the truth about the lost tribes. Because okay. they see the people that's in the land of Israel now, they call them the Jews. The word Jew derives from the word Judah. So basically, off that, off that alone, they're saying that they're the tribe of Judah. But where is the rest of the left? You know what I'm saying? But which they're not the real Jews, the Negroes are the real Jews. The Latinos and Native Americans consist of the rest tribe. Well, I hope this tribe. isn't the only night your guys are doing this. Huh? I hope this isn't the only night you're doing this. Uh, we do this Lord willing every Saturday. Do you? Yeah, Lord willing every Saturday. Do a lot of people come by? Uh, it really don't matter. It's whoever wants to hear. You know, whether they hear, whether they forbear, right? Yeah. You know? So if you want to hear truth, you stop by. You increase your knowledge. If you want to, you want to walk apart, like the Bible says in the days of Noah. Walk the party with Mary and give me a marriage, not knowing that the time was at hand. Okay, that's all. You know, so. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for spreading the word. No problem. No problem. Yeah. Right. Doing a good job. First Maccabees 1 and 13. Then certain of the people were so bored therein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. Yeah, these are our two third people. These are people that. They said, man, I'm, I'm broke. I got no money. I need to go to college to get me a trade. All right? Let me go to, let me go to the king. Let me get a scholarship. All right? Let me, let me, matter of fact, let me get a grant so I can build a gymnasium. You know? Let me, let me get a grant so I can build a pig farm. Or whatever they was doing. They were so poor. And it, it, they went to the king, you know? They weren't even ashamed about it. 